So I just got rid of our old rug that we had in our bathroom and we haven't had a rug in here for a while and the floor is just too cold so I decided to go ahead and try out this coiled rug. It's either called a twisted rope rug or a coiled rug. It, it's kind of the same thing. Um, super easy to make. I wasn't sure how exactly to start this but it's not that hard. I used a hot glue gun and some scissors, of course, and this rope that I got from the, let's say it's like the crafts section. I only used one and a half of these packages of rope to make my rug, um, but you can use as many packages as you want. You can make it as big or small. It really is just, it's up to you. So first starting out, what I did was I cut like a little angle on my rope and then I just started twisting the end of it so I could get it into a nice little curve. And then I put some hot glue on the end and then I just curled that in. Try not to burn your fingers. I burned my fingers a couple times, but you'll get the hang of it once you've done it like a billion times. So once you get a little curve going on, you'll want to put some hot glue on the side. You'll, then you'll just start wrapping the rope around and put glue on the side as you go along. And then you'll just start your coils. And when the glue like kind of dries, it gets a little bit cooler. So I usually just like wipe off the excess that comes out. And so how I like to glue this is I glue it on the side, but I glue it a little bit more towards the, I guess, towards the side that's facing me. That way I only get glue showing on one side of this little coil instead of on both sides. So once you get a good enough size and you like the way that it's coming out, you're gonna go ahead and cut the end of the rope. And I like to cut it at an angle just so that I can wrap it around a little bit easier. take your glue and then glue the end down. have your first coil and as you can see I kept the glue only on one side that way the other side's completely clear so once you get a couple coils done you want to glue them together and make sure that you've got them facing the right way the glue side on <laughs> both of the coils are gonna be facing down and then I usually like to glue them wherever the end of the rope is that way it kind of like seamlessly goes together And you'll want to do the same thing here with uh, the glue. Try to glue it on a little bit towards the side that's facing you. That way you don't get glue on the other side. You only get glue on one side. And then there you go. Looks like a snowman. And 
then once I get a couple of them done, I usually like to get like a newspaper or magazine or something to glue on top of because I don't want to get any glue on my surface that I'm working on. And you'll just start gluing them all together. This totally looks like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> so, as you can see, I made several different sizes. I made big ones, I made little ones. I just made them all kind of sporadic and more of like a bubble type of rug. Cause that's what I wanted it to try to look like, which is a bunch of bubbles. And, but you can totally make any kind of design you want. And every once in a while you run into this little problem where there's like this really odd spot that doesn't quite fit one of the coils. So you just have to try to coil the rope up as big or small as you need it so that it can fit into those little awkward spaces. And what's good about this rug is that you can stretch it out a little bit so you can like kind of snugly fit a coil in wherever you need it to be. This rug will still lay flat. I really like how this came out. It totally goes with our beach theme in our bathroom. And it's totally like durable. I tested this out for like a week before I posted this just to make sure it wasn't gonna fall apart or anything. And it also feels comfortable on your feet. It doesn't hurt at all. It's not, you know, itchy or whatever. So I love how this rug came out. I think it looks super cute. It matches the bathroom perfectly. And I may make another one for the other side where the bathtub is, but uh, I don't know. 